Twitter got all worked up recently about an article by writer Erica Dewan that described people in their mid-30s as geriatric millennials. She's one of them. She was extremely complimentary about this adaptable group and their communication skills, but you wouldn't know it from the way people responded. Were they justified in being so offended? Here's my take on the kerfluffle. Geriatric is a completely legitimate word meaning for or relating to old people. The first meaning in the dictionary is medical, geriatrics as the medical specialty of caring for older people. The only time I've heard it applied to millennials is geriatric pregnancy, a term for women who are pregnant with their first kid at age 35 and up, which biologically speaking is on the older side to have your first kid. The second or third definition of geriatric in the dictionary, however, is offensive, and it's labeled as offensive, meaning obsolescent or worn out or incompetent. So yeah, it's understandable that people resist being labeled that way outside of a medical context. The problem lies with an ageist culture that attaches negative connotations to a perfectly good adjective. Here's a different idea. Writer Gina Pell's witty suggestion for what those of us who don't want to be constrained by generational moats or labels start calling ourselves perennials. She writes, quote, it's time we choose our own category based on shared values and interests and break out of the faux constructs behind an age-based system of classification. We are ever blooming, like the plants, relevant people of all ages who live in the present time, know what's happening in the world, stay current with technology, and have friends of all ages, unquote. My people.